Hello guys, in this tutorial we will see the different types of Android layouts and what is each type. So first of all we have different types of Android layouts. Uh, we will deal with the most common and the mo most used uh, uh, layouts. So the first of all, we will see the linear layout uh, in uh, its different types, uh, its different orientations, the relative layout, and the grid as a scroll view. We, uh, we will uh, see them later, this grid view and scroll view and other uh, next future uh, videos. Till now, we will see the linear layouts and the relative layouts. What are these layouts? So, linear layout, like its name suggests, all elements are displayed in linear fashion. Below is an example of the linear layouts. So, uh, linear layouts, uh, well, we we'll see them next uh, next uh, two couple of minutes, either horizontally or vertically, and this behavior is a set uh, as Android orientation. So. Uh, Android layouts, linear layouts, group the widgets or its views and in a pattern or a uh, oriented uh, movement, oriented uh, direction like horizontal or vertical, which is an attribute of the node uh, linear layout. We will see them in details how widgets are grouped in a linear pattern. Also, we will learn about the new Android new uh, uh, layout, which is called constraint layout. And we will see them, uh, or uh, we will deal with constraint layout in whole uh, our course, in all course. So, the constraint layout, which is a very, which is, which is you which is used to anchor the widgets inside it in a constraint layout so and this figure we will see like number one if we click on the we will see them also in a real android uh, app but till now let's uh, put this figure and learn it uh, learn more about it uh, so, when selecting a view, the attributes window includes the controls for one, this the, the rectangle, the sorry, the triangle size ratio. It will constrain the widget according to uh, size ratio. Number two, deleting a constraint will be uh, uh, newly introduced by clicking control and the right, the right click, left click of the mouse. And three, the height, width, mode, the four margins, and constraint bias number five. You can also highlight individual constraints in the layout editor by clicking on them in the constraint layout. We will see them uh, basically and in details next couples of minutes. Like an example of the constraint layout, which is the most powerful layout used in the Android Studio, especially uh, especially for complex uh, layouts and designs. So if you see on the left side, this is what the user see, but in, in, the, in, uh, in fact, the layout are the layout is more complex and is used or designed by the constraint layout. So the constraint layout is a very important layout we used in Android. We will use them and I advise you to use this type of constraint layout in all your of your projects. Till now, it's very good, and let's dive in in our Android Studio and see each type of layouts, how it behaves, and how uh, the constraint layout uh, is powerful. 
layout is defined as structure of their user interface in your app, such as an activity. So all elements in the layout are built using a hierarchy of view and view group objects. We will see later what are view groups and view. So a view usually draws something the user can see and interact with. So, so imagine that this layout called activity main.xml. All ex uh, layouts are .xml and written in XML. So, so you, the user will see this page in front of him or, or in front of his phone. So the layout is something that the user will see. And the .java are the files where the code are executed without the user displaying. So we will see the different type types of layouts. Whereas a, a view group is an individual invisible container that defines the layout structure for a view and other view groups. Okay. The view objects are usually called widgets. So uh, as we see before, th these are the widgets like widgets like text view, button, image view, recycle view, and we'll see later on uh, scroll view and switch but the layouts are the invisible containers that arrange these views inside uh, in a, a, a pattern or they are arranged in a way that they are grouped and displayed to the user as the programmer or developer put or say or design so let's begin so what are the different types of layouts so click here on the layouts we see uh, on the uh, android studio 3.5 and uh, previous versions of it uh, that the constraint layout is would be the default uh, layout of this android studio so constraint layout is a new uh, layout uh, a pattern that allows you to create large and complex layouts with a flat view hierarchy no nested view groups it's similar to relative layouts we will see later what are the relative layouts so constraint is basically is a relative layout so what are relatives relative lay lay layout are as it's as its name indicates, it's, uh, it's not nearly as simple as the uh, like linear or frame layout. We'll see also then. The relative layout shows a large number of attributes all focused around positioning children relative to the edges or center of relative layouts. So the widgets are, relative, are positioned in relative to each other relative layout relative position frame layout what are the frame layout acts as quite different compared to uh, linear and relative so frame layout constraint layout linear layout and relative layout let's start uh, seeing them uh, in front of us Constraint layout, here are the constraints. So these uh, blue lines are constraints. So whenever you add a widget, whenever you, you add a new widget, like I, it will be without constraints. So in order to create constraints, I pull this line to the left so the widget will be displayed in this position and I create a top constraint and to the left if I want the text view it will be here it will be displayed in this 
pattern. So if I want the 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 text to be displayed in the center in the center of the screen, I would use its four constraints as this. So I click on the attributes panel. I can press here and I can use the these methods or these types of uh, of co constraint widgets types. So there are wrap content and I think this is the fixed position and this is called match match constraint constraints. So let's see consider the layout and see the the difference so match pattern or match constraint will match the the relative size of the uh, relative height so if i click on this also it will match the screen and the pad the the uh, the child or the parent layout so the parent layout in this case is co is constraint layout. So the text I created will make a match constraint relative to its parent layout. If I click on the match constraints, match uh, wrap content, it will wrap the text in uh, according to its size. So let's add uh, another widget so i will add a button here so if i need to to constrain or to anchor this button below the text view i just add the constraint of the button and i can move it and i can constraint the button the button also to the left and to the right if you have the blue line here you can the blue line edge you can constrain it so now the button is constrained to the left and right and to the text if i want also add more widgets so uh, let's try now to see uh, the the other layouts i would create a linear layout here below i will remove the button i will remove the text i will create the linear layout linear layout it would be matching all the size of the constraint and now i can add widgets inside the linear layout so you can put it below if i add another button it's are uh, they are arranged in a linear layout or linear pattern if I want to see or change the attribute of why displaying them in a horizontal way or in a vertical way, I can go to text, linear, and Android orientation. I can put horizontal and see that what's happening. Okay, so the buttons are arranged here are arranged here in a different way so as we see we put here the the buttons also I can use the attribute of the width match parent and the height wrap content let's wrap our content I will remove in order to remove the the constraint we click on control and click on the mouse that 
uh, the blue line the red line will be displayed the red line is for deleting so i can add the text i can add the text outside the linear so till now in this app i have a text view that is inside the main constraint i have a linear layout that it is on the main screen this is the, li the linear layout i can uh, constrain it to the text so this is the text i will click it i will click the text increase its size and see what's happening and how and how the the android will respond to this and uh, let's say layout app layouts app okay so this is our this is our app the uh, the linear layout okay i will remove i will remove this constraint it will attract under the text view now let's see the other layouts a horizontal let's create a horizontal a horizontal linear layout let's say it's zero 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 and this is the layout under under it and the height would be wrap content so the linear layout this is the linear linear uh, two i would use linear layout and linear layout two and i will add some button inside the linear layout button number six and button number seven button number eight okay guys so we are making the the the, the layout the layouts they are cons as in constraint layouts so uh, we have a two a two uh, linear layouts. This is a linear uh, arrange vertical, and this is a, a, a linear layout arrange in a horizontal way. And this is the text. They are all in the constraint layout. So the bl blue line indicates which the component is select which component is selected. Constraint layout, text layout, layout and we can also create another layouts like frame layout table table row and space and we we'll see them uh, later on on uh, also guideline and guideline also uh, in a recycler view and card view later on thank you guys and uh, see you next videos